Historic downtown Loveland is the place to be this summer to enjoy a unique block party experience filled with live music, art, and so much more. It's going to be fun. Heather Williamson with Blazing Illumination joins us along with Sarah Turner with Loveland Downtown Partnership with more on what you can expect. Welcome to the show, ladies. Hi, thank you. So uh, what is the Loveland Downtown Partnership, Sarah? So the Loveland Downtown Partnership is made up of downtown business owners and people that are passionate about downtown Loveland. Um, and we're working just to continue to create a vibrant downtown in Loveland, bring in new businesses, support businesses that are already there and thriving, and bring in more fun events just like the Loveland Downtown District Live. You offer a lot of programs. We do, yeah. We have a lot of year-round um, event programming, and then we love those uh, programs because they bring people downtown to discover all of our businesses that are there that people may not have seen before um, or that haven't seen in a long time. You offer a lot of fun events like Sarah said Heather <laughs> yes. and you have something new and exciting it's called Loveland Downtown District Live. Tell me all about it. It is so what's really neat is um, the downtown district is Loveland's creative core. We have a community of entrepreneurs and visionaries and artists and when you pull all that together for an event like Loveland Downtown District Live and bring it for a block party. I mean, it, what better place to do that and showcase everyone? And it's July 29th? Correct. Okay. And then again in September, uh, September 23rd. Wow, you guys really know how to throw a party. <laughs> Tell me more about the event. What can we expect? Well, we have a really packed event. It starts at 2 p.m. and it ends at 9 p.m. Uh, we will start the evening off with some classical guitar from Landon Peck. And then we have some acoustic blues that will be performed by Maya Bennett. Uh, and then we switch gears a little bit and uh, guests will get to enjoy their classic rock tunes from uh, Apple Jam. And then we have a rock-infused Roadhouse Rhythm and Blues band that will end the night. And that's three shots. How fun! If you yeah. want to find out more, they have a great website you can go to. It's LovelandDowntownDistrictLive.com. That's LovelandDowntownDistrictLive.com. Sarah, how, are, how important are these event series like this to the partnership that you have going on? Yeah, so, you know, like I said before, um, downtown Loveland has been growing a lot, especially over the past five, six years. And so these these events bring people downtown that have never been there before, haven't been there in a long time, so that they can discover businesses, um, restaurants, shops, and just kind of get a taste at the events so that they can come back another time, see what we have to offer, and see how much we're changing downtown. How much does it cost to get into the event? It is free. Free? So it is a free event that is family friendly, and everybody's welcome. Um, and yeah, there's no cost to, for anything. And talk more about the entertainment, Heather, because I know you mentioned the bands that we're going to see. I, I think there's something for everybody's style as we take a look at this one right now. Oh, absolutely. The, the music isn't the only thing that'll be happening. That's just part of it. We've got vendors. Uh, the, the neat part is we've got some of the local businesses, the restaurants that'll come and and have an opportunity to share a few of, of their select menu items. Uh, there'll be face painting and oh. neat crafts that you can check out. I mean, it's just, it's gonna be full of a variety of things for everybody. It's a family event. Absolutely. With the face painting, I hope so. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> well, you never know, you could get your face painted too. And so. I'm one that would probably do <laughs> that after a few soda pops. Well, yeah, <laughs> and, then, and then we'll have you go explore downtown with your face painted, they'll of know where course. you were. <laughs> of course, tell me something about Loveland that maybe the audience doesn't know? Yeah, you know, I think a lot of people haven't been to Loveland in a long time, um, and especially downtown because it has been growing, but we have 40 different retailers and galleries right downtown and over 30 restaurants and breweries in our core. And so Loveland is really a hotbed right now for breweries and distilleries, and it's just a fun place to be to discover great shopping, drinks, food. It really is. It has that small town vibe, right. but you yes. still offer everything. You right. don't have to go far for anything that you want. Right. If someone's kind of straddling the fence there, Heather, on hmm, should I go to this or not, what would you tell them? Oh, it, it's a must-see. I, mm -hmm. I mean, with the musical lineup and the, the different shopping and restaurants that we have, the, the breweries alone, I mean, you can spend the entire day down there and only see maybe half of what we have to offer. Really? Yes. So come down and just walk the entire area, uh, enjoy what we have on the block. It'll be on 4th Street between Cleveland and Lincoln Avenue. Okay. Uh, and then you can explore the rest of the town as well. Where can we find out more information? 
The best place to go is our website, which is lovelanddowntowndistrictlive.com or on our Facebook page, which is also Loveland Downtown District Live. Easy enough. Thank you, ladies, yeah, for giving us you. a sneak peek. Thank you. Again, the Loveland Downtown District Live event series brings together the heart and soul of Loveland for a unique block party experience. Go ahead, join the action July 29th, and then again, they're going to pate September 23rd from 2 to 9 p.m. on 4th Street from Lincoln to Cleveland Avenue for music, art, shopping, and so much more, visit their friendly website. It's lovelanddowntowndistrictlive.com.